The Marañón is an incredibly special river. It is the primary headwater of the Amazon and a critically important corridor linking many biodiverse ecoregions. Many migratory fishes use the Marañón as a highway to travel between highly productive lowlands where they feed, grow, and mature, and mountain streams where they spawn. Among the amazing fishes of the Amazon basin are wonders like the oscillated river stingray, the blood-feeding kandaroo, armored catfishes that specialize on diets of dead submerged wood, My name is Nathan Lujan. I'm a scientist who has spent the last decade and a half exploring and studying rivers of the Andes and Amazon Basin. My research is driven by a passion to understand the evolutionary origins of this diversity and the ecological mechanisms that sustain it. A lot of conservation research and a lot of biodiversity research has been focused on terrestrial ecosystems and, and focused on saving the rainforest. But uh, while that uh, conservation work is very important, in the, in the past decade, dam construction, hydroelectric dam construction has really accelerated. And these impacts are devastating river systems uh, and the conservation community in many cases hasn't caught up. And so we're racing to build a uh, infrastructure to uh, understand and conserve aquatic biodiversity in South America. So this is the Three Gorges Dam uh, in China, and it's just a great example of, of how devastating dams can be uh, with the displacement of local peoples affecting untold species of fishes, even mammals. Uh, the, the Yangtze River Dolphin is, is one really charismatic, really beautiful, spectacular species uh, that is now uh, almost extinct or extinct in, in the Yangtze River as a result of major projects like the Three Gorges Dam. It's increasingly unusual to find rivers around the world that are undammed, free-flowing, it's becoming more and more important to protect those rivers. In a river like the Marañón, which supports not one, but two species of freshwater dolphin, the Sotalia, or Takushi dolphin, and the Boto, or Amazon River dolphin, which the IUCN is recategorizing to either endangered or critically endangered in the coming month, it's all the more important because it's such a high biodiversity region. And by damming it, you're essentially decapitating the Amazon. Of the 18 scientific expeditions that I've conducted to South America, my 2006 expedition to the Marañón was one of the most productive because of the many new species we discovered and the fascinating ecology of wood-eating catfishes that we documented. Wood-eating catfishes are these remarkable creatures that are covered in armor and can gouge into wood using specialized teeth shaped like a carpentry instrument with massive jaw muscles I distinctly remember the moment my net was lifted, and there inside were two individuals of this new species, with translucent white skin and long, thin filaments. I knew immediately that these beautiful white fishes were new to science. If we were to go back and survey more, there'd be a high likelihood of more discoveries, more new species yet to be found. There's so much of the drainage that we just haven't studied yet that we know hardly anything about.